Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here in Kaiser Redux, in which we're playing as the CSA, or also known as, usually, the Combined Syndicates of America. As you can see, it is March 12th, 1937, and I decided to play off-screen just to get to this point, because who wants to play early game America? Well, sometimes we do, especially if we want to avoid the Second American Civil War, but I want to try out the CSA badly, because I don't see how strong they are. We start off apparently with 2.1 million manpower, so that's pretty good. Of course, we do have extensive conscription, I guess, but whatever. The PSA offers peace. The PSA, or the Pacific States of America, has decided to recognize that we are the victors of the 1936 election and that, therefore, they are willing to ally us. However, those who come at the cost of having to agree to be constrained by their laws and constitution, which many of our followers believe to have been preserved or per uh, perversed to serve the bourgeoisie and would likely not go over well with our more hardline supporters. However, there is no doubt their aid would be helpful in our social patriotic faction made up of largely AFL, and the Independent League of America fanatically wants us to accept the deal despite the most cynicalists denouncing it. Nonsense? We must accept? Nonsense! So, in this campaign, I would like for us to try to get Al Capone. Um, I, I'm very interested in playing as him, and apparently he's a totalist, but the CSA tree in Kaiser Redux, I don't know anything about this. What is this? The Second Continental Army sounds really good to get. We also have the Red Air Force, the Second Continental Navy. I haven't tried this off screen at all, but trying to beat the CSA sometimes can be quite difficult, at least when I played as American Union State, but not so much when I played as New England, but the Second Continental Army. The revolution has begun. Zeal and enthusiasm are pouring forth as people line up to support our brave volunteers. We'll take Washington in a week, and then the reactionaries will surely collapse. And we're running out of fuel just because I wanted to train a lot of ships, but it didn't go so well for us. But we started off with 21 militia divisions, or 20 militia divisions, and one Revolutionary Continental Army, and the AUS offer peace. The longest coalition that makes up the American Union state has sent us a peace offer in the form of Maori Maverick, who claims that not only should the CSA and AUS work together for the sake of survival, but that we have more in common than both sides acknowledge. While it is likely Long has only sent this delegation in the hopes of relieving his military's front line when it is likely comes to full war between him and the car and the WCC, it is also true that we are not much better positioned thanks to MacArthur being on our east and the car targeting us especially for destruction. Syndicalists are not enthusiastic and the syndicalist collectivist Took leader William Z. Foster are denouncing the deal as a pointless concession to social capitalism, as the CSA will need to defeat them anyways, but the social patriots in Congress are pushing for it. We could accept this for a time, but it's likely the cynicalist side of Congress will eventually tear down the deal if they have it their way. Except for now, mm, we don't negotiate with them. You know what? Let's do that. I want to, my goal here is to try to delay the Civil War as long as possible and get, I guess, more involved, but like, hold on, because I'm going to assume Canada is going to get involved eventually. So, the mob gets involved. The smugglers, bandits, and criminals have all begun to join the ranks of the combined syndicates. The mafia robs trains and uses profits from bootlegging to fund the war effort. Luciano and Dillinger have risen through the ranks of the army and Al Capone and his outfit have taken to the war lifestyle and use mob tactics against the reactionaries. Bonnie and Clyde rally resistance in the south and bootleggers give unionist troops poison booze. We don't know how, more, how much more, how moral, this, moral this is, but it sure is helping us win the war. An enemy of the reactionaries is a friend to us, right? And the clan growth. Can I say that? Look, anyways, the clan has seen growth, increased growth, and their followers linking up more effectively with others while with other white league and groups. Attacks on our politicians and officers has grown more common as bombs being planted in strategic locations and threatens to kill those who cooperate with our government. Oh no, what's going on here? What, what happened here? Oh, Kentucky bootleggers, welcome aboard, my friends. Welcome aboard. Nice, that's actually really cool. We get all those guys. Or Bonnie and Clyde and all of them. And right now, I didn't know it was going to be like this, but get 16 di military divisions in Illinois. That's insane. But the Illinois General Assembly invites the IWW. The state legislature of Illinois has invited the IWW to discuss the current crisis and the looming deadline issued by the federal government. Bill Haywood accepted the offer and held an informal meeting with several trade union leaders prior. Haywood made it clear that the situation was dire and the SBA would need to unite behind the IWW in order to survive the coming conflict. This silent agreement meant that the traditional SBA leadership would be reorganized along industrial Industrial unionist lines with each union representative allowed a single vote. The SBA immediately and unanimously pledged their support for social revolution through direct action, not diplomacy. So say we all. In addition, central reorganization. Um, so with this campaign, um, I'm going to emphasize tanks, but I'm still going to go superior firepower. But I do want to, in this civil war, use light tanks. That's my goal. But the military debate, but good old mafia ingenuity. Long has a mob used some of the most creative techniques known to man to subvert the laws of the land, but now mob tactics are being used on the front lines. Capone and his men have even managed to get thousands of pieces of equipment smuggled in through various means. They even have constructed a makeshift submarine to run Union's blockades. Some would say that Capone is now above the law. 
All let's hope he is, but military debate. The Revolutionary Congress has yet to decide on a coherent military policy as each political faction puts forward their own plan. The IWW has backed a plan that relies on an industry to outproduce the other factions in the arena of mechanization, believing we will eventually have too many industrial advantages for them to hope to beat us like the Union in the First American Civil War. And as such, they call it the Union Plan. The Social Patriots, however, support Smedley Butler's efforts to create an organized Republican army that relies on more traditional leadership and command of our superior numbers and industry to defeat the enemy. The collective is cynicalists, and the most radical anarchists oppose both plans for not relying on the revolutionary will of the proletariat, noting that the workers will simply overwhelm the reactionaries, and this is more consistent with Marxist principles, and have them put forward a mass mobilization plan that will be led by Foster supporter Jack Shulman. Finally, a centralist faction backed a plan that relies on an industry similar to the IWW, but instead desire a focus of sheer firepower to blow the enemy away from the distance with James Burnham and Earl Brower backing the plan. So who do we want to get here? The wobbly militarization. Uh, mobile warfare, that's not bad. What do you actually get for this one? Revive motor factories? Oh, that's not bad. People's vehicles, that's cool. Not bad. Maneuvering a union army. Uh, centralist reorganization. Superior power powers. Totalism. We love totalism, don't we? Nice, nice, nice. More artillery defense. Yeah, I do want to get, like I said, I do want to get more tanks. Like, tanks is what's going to win the war. But this, by having this um, artillery and stuff, that's what's going to really push us through. Especially for, like, past the war. So, uh, call to the masses. That looks really good. Non-core manpower plus 20%. Holy cow. Um, not bad. More non-core manpower. Supply consumption goes down. Proletarian arms. Revolutionary army. And then plus 15% more. A butler doctrine seems really cool as well. A lot of planning, a lot of entrenchment, or at least 10% more entrenchment. That's not a whole much more, but cool. I like it, professional drills, but it looks like we got to go the centralist way. Nice. The centralists propose a debate our military around firepower output is one, and the centralists are arguing that the government willing to oversee this and increasing our power output will win the war in short order. Very nice. Bill Haywood declares the March Revolution. In the Illinois General Assembly, Haywood delivered a fire broadcast describing the wealth of America and the syndicates, declaring that direct action against capitalist society was a vital necessity for all Americans, and that the federal government's deadline must not only be ignored, it must be defied. Telegrams from the Third International poured in to support Haywood's SBA, exciting the attendance. A vote was called to begin reforming the American capitalist economy to an anarcho syndicalist economy. This referendum, signed by the attendants, declared the Federal Reserve null and void. The IWW was appointed to the Labor Chamber for the new syndicalist government, and the selling of company shares declared illegal. The representatives, satisfied with their success, has returned to Chicago to organize an armed revolution. E pluribus unum. Prescription crisis in Quebec. So much. Who cares about them? Them bourgeois peoples. They're going to have to pay for what they do to the proletariat. Ohio ain't too bad. New York City would be nice. We got the clan. Yeah, we'll do that eventually. Arrowhead in Minnesota. That is a place you don't want to get encircled in. So that's all I'm going to say. A directive leading the Revolutionary Army. The Central Committee has released a directive to appoint a member to the head of the Revolutionary Army under the guidance of a chosen military leadership. The Central Committee has decided to appoint Katin. Ooh, that's not, you get a lot more army experience. Uh, Hans Amili. Ooh, supply consumption and more organization. Ooh, I do want to get more armor here. Hold on. Does I don't think this is really going to affect too much here, is it? Yeah, we, we chose that plan. Um, okay, so I want to get tanks, but we're focusing more on artillery. Tanks would be really nice to get even more speed right now, but you do get 5% more division attack. I love organization and supply consumption. I love that so much. I always choose that one, but i got to go with Louis Secundi because I really want to be using armor for this one. So It is what it is. 2 million manpower already. My goodness. And we're already making some divisions. Now we're going to make these infantry revolutionary continental army twos we're going to need some arty we got a lot of guns look at that holy crap general strike moves on the federal reserve the general strike whose goal has been to protect workers from the federal tyranny now moves to seize the means of production the red guard has ordered an evacuation of lower manhattan and ordered both seize the gold and the, and the federal reserve bank as well as dismantle wall street and this delegation were reporters who were allowed to watch congressmen carry safe boxes away for safekeeping in chicago these items were put under the trust of the iww who have elected norman thomas as their undersecretary several sba politicians are, were arrested in washington dc for a meeting outside the Eccles building, ordering the Federal Reserve Chairman Eugene Black to hear their petitions. Release these men now. Actually, we've got no one right here, so actually, let's make sure that we're over here. That's going to be important to take out the rest of New Jersey. Yeah, Canada's probably going to join the war against us, so let's just be real here. Just being real. Alright, so what do we have here? Before we change anything else here, I'd like to get a partial mobilization, early mobilization. Ooh, look at that. We have secondary. Oh, yeah, that's very good. Um, I think we'll get this guy anyway. What do we have here? AT&T? Uh, all right. Leading the Revolutionary Air Force, the Central Committee has released a directive to appoint a member to the head of the Revolutionary Air Force and guide the Air Force to victory. The Central Committee has de decided to appoint whom? Bert Acosta? 
Each generation pair drops are not going to use pair droppers. Uh, Air Force is pretty good. Cass? I like Cass. We'll go with Eddie. Deadline looms. As the federal government's deadline looms, it's become clear that there will be no budging on either side. Across the part of the country controlled by Haywood supporters, Red Guards have been raised in large numbers and a growing determination to see the country remade in a syndicalist image by force of taking hold. The federal government, in turn, has also made clear that they see no path to compromise. It's only a matter of time. Very, very good. And what type of flag are they using? That is you different. I don't remember them ever using that flag. That is a flag. I'm not saying it's good. I'm not saying it's bad. But we're going to weaken some uh, resistance here, hopefully. Yeah, this is not good. Federal resistance. Uh, the rightful president. Oh, uh, we were technically, yeah, the rightful president. I got these guys elected. It's pretty easy. Sca Scatter minimum? I like that. Major Black Legion resistance. I don't like that. Building navy's not too bad. And then Red Guard Militia. Okay, not great for max planning or organization. And organized clan resistance, huh? Well, I'm going to hit Major Black Legion resistance. They don't like us? Why do they like us? Actually, it might make more sense to weed out the clan and other stuff. Novorossiya demands international recognition. The recently established state of Novorossiya has demanded international recognition. While it is allied with Russia, we can support its independence. Um, what? Oh, every time I see the flag, I'm thinking the, the, the Dixie, you know, the song down south. It's an artificial state. Recognize the government's legitimate and perhaps it gain its new ally. Why not? Who cares? The enemy of my enemy is probably still the enemy. Second American Civil War begins. Here we go, boys and girls. Awesome. Hey, you got more factories. Nice, finally. Uh, we're going to need... Actually, we got plenty of guns already. That's kind of weird. Let's grab some of that. And I'll get a little bit more anti-air. I'm going to focus a lot on fighters. If possible. Uh, that might be enough. That's probably not going to be enough. Let's be real. Essentials for reorganization. And actually, do we have any other fact... Uh, things unlocked. Focuses. Air Force. Navy. I don't think so. What is that? Butler's coup. Oh, boy. The final revolution. Nice. Cool. All right, let's see. Actually, we need to pull some planes, too. Uh, let's make sure we stop training these guys as much as I want them to train. How about they give up on that right now? Oh, we... Wow! I would have... Where did we get these planes? That's a lot of planes! Holy smoky daddies. What? Okay, sure. I'll take them. I'll... No wonder you lose when fighting these guys sometimes. Wow. Does every faction start with this, maybe? They have to, right? They have to. This is really strong. We start with 600 fighters and 600 casts. Okay, no, make that, um... Yeah, maybe... Oh, does everyone... Sir, everyone's got to start with this, right? Everyone's got to start with this much, right? Right? I'm not sure to only get add 100 there just because I want to keep the supply because uh, we're not going to really give them too much. Uh, you guys go right on ahead. Uh, international... Oh, general complex. That's not good. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Alright, don't do that. that. That was kind of stupid to me. I should be more directed with this. Go there, there, there. The joys is going to be ours. Very nice. Internal conflicts at the outset of the revolution. Bill Haywood placed the IWW as a model and future successor to Congress. This has granted us the rapid support of the le radical left, or left radical side of Congress, such as the IWW, anarchists, and foster rights, but at the cost of alienating those whom are not fully on board with cynicalism, despite being sympathetic to pro labor socialist ideals. And instead, it looked to the right wing of our Congress, the AFL, and the Belliumist Independent League, for a new path for America to follow that is not as extreme as cynicalism. Sitting between the two is the Browderist, American Workers' Party, and the CIO, who have appeared to favor a more centralized cynicalist model, albeit in quite different ways. The Sister Patriots are already calling for a one-time universal citizen to vote to decide remaining congressional seats rather than a purely worker union one. Believing the American people are more generally should be given an opportunity to express a different conception of socialism if they desire it. Cynicalists and even more so collectivists are disgusted by the suggestion, believing it would just be a chance for social reactionaries to hijack the revolution and would give a chance for the bourgeoisie, petite and otherwise, to override the will of the worker. As their arguing gets louder with every day, they are forcing us to make a decision, although favoring one would eventually weaken the other, and shoving through a pro-cynicalist stance might turn off potential supporters. This is a syndicalist nation now. A single traditional vote is fair. This is a syndicalist nation now. Oh, that's not looking good. A syndicalist dominance. Oh, we need this too. Nice. Both the social patriots within Congress have utterly failed to throw around their influence in such a way as a cut off ra left radical influence will gain in their own. With the majority of Congress controlled by syndicalist unions who have the lion's share of control, it's clear that the social patriots will have to take a backseat to the revolution, hoping to gain whatever favors and union influence they can to prop up local power bases or get rewards for their members. The revolution is secure. Jesus Christ, there's so many guys here. Um, so we're going to do this. I'm going to expand the front that we currently have with everyone else here. Yeah, just do it like that. We're going to have a gen generic sort of front line-ish. I should not have went to pieces of these guys then. Hmm. No, got to go all the way. Let's go over here and go all the way around Madison. 
Because even though they're fighting us, I just want to defend. I just want to defend, 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 and bleed everyone else out so we can build ourselves up. That's the main goal. Shift. There you go. Nice, nice, nice. And we're going to start building ourselves up a little bit more. We can, we can, the resistance. Uh, New York City. I'm going to start building up a lot of defenses around Detroit and this part of Michigan. Uh, can they hear this? They, they might be able to move through there. I can't tell. Up here in Minnesota, as well as New England. Black City, thank you very much for playing. Oh, and there they go. Oh, the federal government always wanting to attack us. The Spartacade, nice. Yes, 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 yes. Support the Black Belt. The cards are apparently having some trouble containing the Black Belt during the war, leading to a request from local rebels. Especially radicals that aid them in their efforts. Well, maybe a high price would damage the control of the region. Send funds? You betcha, son. All right, let's go and help on out right here. These fellas want to mess with us. They can. The 1937 Spartacade. The first Spartacade opening ceremony was held in London and attended by dignitaries and the athletes from around the socialist world. The British team carried the torch and the French team the bat hammer and the other teams carried the pieces of the cog to the location where they were to be assembled. When placed together, they formed the international symbol of syndicalism. What a glorious day for the working man. Glorious, glorious day. Redistribution of material assets. So now that the revolution has begun, we must decide what should be done with the bourgeoisie. The IWW proclaimed we confiscate all the wealth and redistribute to the people immediately. The up and coming vanguards call for their immediate arrest and execution as well, citing the fate of Vladimir Lenin as an example of a revolution defeated by leniency. SBA members belonging to the depreciated AFL, along with several loyal progressives, have sought life over death, asking the Central Committee to only expropriate what is necessary for war and keep their materialist constitution of the constitutional snow. Constituents happy. The wealth in their lives are ours. We may need these moderates in the future. Nope. Come on, boys, get over there before it's too late. The Kingdom of Canada seizes Alaska. The territory of Alaska has experienced a severe shortage of needed supplies following the outbreak of the Civil War. After recent bombing in the city of Juneau, the Alaskan governor fears a breakdown of order, one that the far-off federal government is too busy to respond to, and thus made a formal request to the Kingdom of Canada that they intervene. Canadian troops and supply trucks have already moved into the region. We'll deal with them later. Good or bad, we will have to deal with them. This is not looking good for us. They're actually pushing through already. Oh my goodness. Not good. Yeah, they're pushing through extremely hard. Yeah, syndicalists, militias, we're going to need a lot more already than this. Um, if that's the case, let's go do this as well. There you go. All we got to do is hold on. We've got more than enough. Radicals oppose the treaty. With well, the social patriots losing their internal struggle power for in Congress, the radicals within their Congress increasingly oppose the treaty as long as we appear to be defeating the car. As such, it presses to destroy them since there's no compromise that revolutionary socialists can make with a capitalist power competing for the same territory, noting that if we don't attack at first, he will never leave anyways and endanger the future of the revolution. We can use the remaining political power to buy the town within the Congress tower, albeit no more than a week or two. Prolong the treaty for a bit. I'm not going to go to war with them. I want to be in a defensive war. I don't really care. Defensive, defensive, defensive war. You guys head over here. God dang, militia sucks. Just give us some time and we'll do okay. But please let me know that you guys are all moving around, right? Like, bros. We definitely need a lot more soldiers than this. What? They landed here. Oh, my goodness. So not good. All right. So we've got a destroyer. That's fine. we got a little bit of fuel. Not much. We'll do the best we can here. The feds might take out New York City. Let's just, I'm going to be honest here just because... We don't have a lot of guys able to do too much here, so. God dang it. There we go. We've got some allies helping us out. That's good. Good, good. Well, there you go. And we're going to have the scout do it. Thank you. Oh, crap. Nope. Y'all hold then. Y'all hold. Oh, wait. Why can't we go to war with these guys? What the heck? Medla Butler, what do we got here? Organization, reinforce rate, man, eh, that's not really worth doing. Uh, we're going to dig in as fast as possible, right? Yeah. Scavenger, let's do that one. <coughs> Excuse me. Trying to push us through, so be it, so be it. We'll do the best we can. You guys hang on to there, hang on over here too. If we have to leave this area of Philadelphia, so be it. There's going to be a lot of dead federal agents, though. I'll come with the Spartacade. Oh, look at this. Nice. Yeah, I'll we'll take this off. We've taken many gold medals in the event, making us a clear victory of the Spartacade. Go, combine, syndicates of America. Nice. We need more divisions. I don't trust uh, these guys up here, so we're going to hit them first. You guys. 15. Nice. Now, let's go with... Uh, I guess we'll go with you, just because there's not a lot of stuff here. If we do that, that is extremely 
inefficient. So I'm gonna do uh, most of these guys. You give me you three. You guys come right there because we need them on the front line immediately. I'm gonna go all the way right there. Right there. There you go. So technically, we should be able to go to just yep. There we go. Now I can do a front line. That's good. That is better. Uh, yeah, I can get it in here too. Losses so far. Eight, wow, we lost eight thousand, nine thousand already. Holy smokes! Oh, good. Kill them off in Atlantic City. They don't deserve life. Oh, we lost a sub or two. Yeah, kind of sucks. You know what, you pieces of garbage? You want to do this too? Come on, let's go out. You want to go dancing? Let's go dancing. Stupid Americans. Federal government. Congress absolved the treaty. The Revolutionary Congress has absolved the treaty completely and declared a revolution against the petite bourgeoisie American Union state, which they call it a cesspool of faux populist demagoguery. Demagoguery and reaction cloaking itself as progressivism. As such, we are war with the American Union state. The American Revolution is imminent. Oh, well, this sucks. Oh, we're doing kind of okay, though. Not bad, not bad. Alright, so that's the case. I want you to go home. You guys gotta combine. And it's Spartacade. It's ended... Was, we already read this one once. That seems very weird. Okay, whatever. Well, we lost a lot of ships. So, you know what? You guys go home. You guys do the same thing. Go home. Take that off. Go home. Leave, 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 leave. Oh, we we're doing quite well against these guys, though. Even though we lost quite a few ships ourselves. So that's not good. Five destroyers. Eh, 11 destroyers. Not bad. Let's go on. Head home. Have a good old time. Because we're out of fuel. Which really, really sucks. Can't... Oh, boy. Oh, my. The feds are just going to keep attacking and attacking and attacking and attacking. It's going to get very annoying here, I bet. All right, so you guys did good. Nice job. I'm going to keep you two. Oh, okay. Or tick you off. You guys actually come over to... Oh, I really don't trust the Canadians. There you go. We'll hold against the federal government probably eventually. I'm just... We got to be ready. You never, you can't trust Canadians. You heard it here first. Can't trust them. Tisa? He's malleable. John Oliver Law. Not bad. Alva Bessie. Let's go with Bessie because he's pretty good, very good in defense, actually. And let's grab Unyielding Defender. Oh, we can't do that yet. Gotcha. That's okay. Uh, you two, go ahead and join the group down here, too. That'll be good. And Michigan, South Jersey. South New Jersey. Let's do that one first just because I don't know how long we're going to be able to keep that. So, are we doing okay here-ish? Oh, that is not ideal. All right, Director of Education Act. To those who are well-educated, either formally or through bitter experience, revolutionary thought comes as easily as breathing. However, many of our comrades, whether than Steel Belt or elsewhere in America, have been lied to their entire lives by the capitalists and do not understand how the revolution frees them. Many do not give their heart and soul to the revolution, and some even attempt to sabotage their efforts, unaware that we are the only force that truly cares for them. This must be remedied, and our comments must be deprogrammed. Should we focus on reaching those in our territory, keeping our morale up, or should we spread the message through the enemy territory and sap their will to fight the liberators? Focus on socialist family? Focus on the reactionary enemy. I like this one. Nice. Bourgeoisie flee to Canada. Some members of the bourgeoisie, especially in Chicago and Detroit, have decided that they will flee the CSA. Thousands have sought refuge within the enemy territories, especially within the illegitimate Canadian government. The thieving scum have taken whatever their stolen wealth they could carry with them as they have escaped the revolution. The revolution will come for them in time. You bet your britches it, we, it'll come for them. Just gotta give it a little bit more time. Oh. You guys are not... Great, you might be able to help out, maybe. We might be able to push down to West Virginia. So Canada supports the federal government. Today, the Canadian government and through them, the exiled Br British leaders and the entirety of the Entente declare their support for the U.S. as a true and only legitimate claim to the mantle of American leadership. While stopping short of promising direct military intervention, they've offered to bolster federal forces with equipment and volunteers as well as an array of military advisors. Their statement stated solely that America was required to maintain world order and prevent the dissolution of one of the world's greatest powers in chaos. Or into chaos. How dare they... Have Interfere in American affairs. This won't do much, but we can try a little bit. They pushing very, very hard. They got to be losing thousands of, uh, yeah, thou literally thousands of men, baby. Wow. Uh, I don't think we can trade with anybody else here for oil, right? We got, we got, we have too much oil in my mind. In my opinion, we got too much oil. We're getting, but whatever. Mm. Oh, we need that. We need that oil. We really, really do, but... Oh, Jersey, thank you. Where are you guys at? You guys are doing okay. You guys, you don't have enough soldiers yet. You really don't. 
Cannon, nothing there. That's all right. Let's go and see what else we can grab. Uh, we might lose Pennsylvania. Let's do that first. Wow, we have no physical power, do we? Fetch elections. All right, all right, all right. Get in there. Female soldiers. As a revolutionary struggle continues, a number of women have joined the armed struggle in accordance with the socialist ideals of gender equality. While not all are accepted by the male comrades, it has not deterred many from fighting and dying for the revolution. Manuals have been distributed to recruiters on how to effectively organize women detachments, of which militias can teach a military thing or two, of course. This has caused extremely mixed reactions within the Socialist Congress. Anarchists are largely supported, but more traditional forces such as the AFL and some of the SBA, such as Earl Browder, are squeamish, arguing the workers' revolution should protect its female population from the danger, while the guild socialists seem to waffle between the two. The American Workers' Party, of course, is strongly opposed to the presence of the female soldiers believing revolutionary women are more helpful to the revolution on the home front. And surprisingly, even the phosphorites are nearly split on the issue despite being radical socialist progressive but criticizing it from a revolutionary perspective, arguing that the lowered birth rate results re from resulting from female soldiers' deaths will give reactionary capitalist nations a population advantage and therefore contradict phosphorite collectivist syndicalist thought while others view it as a necess necessity for full social revolution. We should. What should we do? Rebel girl, you're the queen of my world? Well, we're going to have a lot of dead women here. So I guess if you don't like women, I guess we want to throw them in the military. You didn't, don't quote me on that. Guys, can you please... Oh, oh, baby. Oh, sweet merry turnips. Oh, boy. That's just not good. All we gotta do is hold out. That's the main thing that we just gotta do is hold out against all these goddamn reactionaries. Let them kill each other. Three divisions, four divisions. Sweden's joined the Rack Pack. That's not good. Uh, 36. That's not too bad. As long as we can hold. That's the main thing there. Oh, what? Guys, why are you attacking? If you're going to win, then win. But just don't lose. I'm worried about this. I'm worried about these guys attacking us too. Argentina. Very nice. Very nice. Anything else around here? You guys holding out fine enough. You guys going to Harrisburg too. We're going to have so many dead federal agents here. Which is okay with me, but still. Oh, that's not good. Head on down to Duluth. Eurasian Union form. This is something new. Ooh. Eurasian Union. Is this Gumilev? This is not TNO. Is that a TNO reference? We're going to need a lot more guns where we're headed. And a lot more motorized, too. Oh, baby boy. Head on in, boys. You ain't done yet. Mm -mm. We actually have enough artillery. Wow. Um, if that's the case, I'm going to slowly convert some of these divisions over so that uh, they're no longer militias. Militias nice and all, but we need the arties. we got to have arties. CSA, we've got the artillery. Oh, boy, be. That's a 70-day focus. My goodness, that's a long day. By artillery production lines, we have taken the most industrialized region of the country at our disposal, but we're not using it properly. Artillery production lines will be created and mandated to ensure a reliable output of heavy munitions. More organization? Yes, please. Production cost for artillery goes down. Yes, yes, yes. Even though I want more tanks. Nice. All right, because of that, I'm going to go ahead. Oh, I really want to... Hmm... We need more soldiers on the front immediately. And then we're going to grab Wisconsin. And we'll send those guys up to defend against Canada up there near um, Minnesota. God dang, the federal government really hates us. I guess that makes sense. But don't get me wrong, it does make sense, but still. Oh, they're attacking down here too. That's not good. Can you actually still win down there, maybe? You guys are heading to here. They're trying to push us out of West Virginia. That is not bueno, man. That is definitely not bueno. Wow, they are trying hard here. Wow, baby. Centralist reorganization, thank you very much. Nice, nice, nice. I don't want... Actually, if we abandon Duluth, we lose Arrowhead, but... Hmm, you might as well get down there, then. I do not want to get cut off anywhere here. Actually, convert these three divisions to this one. There you go. Make them stronger. Don't lose Harrisburg. Kill every federal agent you see. Can I say that? Oh, well. Uh, Michigan. Nice. All right, so you guys are going to help defend up here. As long as we don't get taken out right now, here. Help oh, reinforce the line there for now. We can always send more soldiers up here, too. It doesn't really matter too much. Head on up, head on up, head on up. Guys, you're not allowed to lose. Then again, that opens up more of a border for them to fight the Canadians, so. All right, so it looks like the, top, the attacks are not... I kind of stopped there. You guys are still holding right there. Cannon invokes. Oh, crap. It goes towards War Measures Act. Actually, that doesn't really mean too much to us right now. 
Could use more fuel, though. That's a big thing. Are you guys connected? You are technically connected. So even if we lose this, that's not that bad. Casualties, we've lost 40,000 versus almost, well, over 100,000 enemies. That's not bad, not bad, not bad. All right, take him out, man. Oop, there goes the caucuses, very nice. You really just want to die here, don't you? You just have a death wish, don't you? I'll send you there. I'm going to send these guys over here. Don't lose Harrisburg. I do not want to lose Harrisburg. Support from syndicalists. Re rebels fighting for the syndicate cause also in the U.S. have made contact with the government, offering an array of scavenged supplies. Very nice. I don't even know what we got. I wasn't even paying attention. I'm more focused on the Civil War at hand. All right, you guys head on over here. That's good. Oh, don't lose Indiana. You ain't, you ain't allowed to. No, no, no. Do that. Um, we're not going to lose it. I don't want to lose a little patch of dirt. A single patch is too much to lose. Madras established the CIA. Oh, boy. Oh, we got some of these divisions, too. All right, so these guys... Um, we already sent a group up here. Just reinforce the line for now. And that's actually really, really good reinforcement. All right, so established the CIA. It's an unfortunate fact that there are spies and saboteurs within our territory working to prevent our glorious liberation of the proletarian masses. Of the many proposals submitted to the C Central Committee, one sends out Earl Bradford's proposals is to create a committee to enforce revolutionary order and stop counter-revolutionary sabotage. However, others within the Central Committee, including Chairman Haywood, wonder if this is a necessary step and if we should be, be we would be betraying our ideals. Regardless of what was taken, what was decided, the CIA will be created. Oh, we love totalism here. Totalism today, totalism tomorrow, totalism forever. That, that, that quote does not seem quite right, but whatever. Actually, I'm going to convert you guys as well to these guys. I do not trust the American government. Mm, you guys definitely need more soldiers here, though. Oof. You don't have to fend up there, though. But these six divisions are really kind of the, the another bread and butter for us. So you guys actually reinforce the line here. That will be good. Actually, that will be very good. What else do we have? Uh... Ooh, Arrowhead. We're already up there. We might as well. Radio detection is very nice. 37, of course. Yeah, let's see. Not bad, not bad. We definitely could use more fuel, though. More fuel, please, please, please. Ace pilot promoted. Oh. Oh, oh I'm sorry. That was an actual event. I'm sorry. I, cl I clicked on that too fast. My apologies. You can go back and obviously read that. I cannot. So I apologize for clicking on that one. So. Head on in, boys. Don't let them live. Mozambique Bush War. Zambia. All right. Y'all doing your Zambian thing. Hold, that's fine. We don't have to necessarily win for now. Just don't lose. From Armenia, the Armenian uprising. Oh boy. Well, good luck with that. Extend this line just a little bit more like that. That's fine with me. Okay, guys, seriously, how are you losing? These guys here need to die. Oh, they sound a peace deal? What the heck? Oh, they actually got another tile. God dang it. We should be fine up there. I'm not too worried about that part anymore. Uh, you guys should be digging in. And these guys are actually, you know, 18 combo with. They're not great. They're not bad. We need more guns now. God dang it. Mm. Keep digging in, boys and girls. You're doing a great job. You're making mother proud. Uh, I don't know about mother, but... Uh, you're doing the revolution a favor for everybody. Sure, there you go. Why not? So we're ready against Canada. Somewhat. Six divisions is not a lot. And over here, definitely needs more reinforcements, but we're doing okay. Let's get Indiana. Who's your state? Oh, boy. That is not good. We just took that back, but, oh, my goodness, we're getting attacked. Something, something mighty fierce. We got a lot of army XP already. Holy crud. Boys, head on over. Please, please, please. Head on over. Please, please, please. Yes, please, Norway. World Revolution. Man, they got a lot of allies down there in the car. A lot of volunteers. And we've killed at least 125,000. That's pretty good. 37,000 from Long and 28,000 from Murray. Not bad. Oh, good, 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 good. We got both of them done. All right, let's see. Anything here? No, 37, of course. Artillery's looking good. Tanks looking not too bad. Planes looking not too bad. Let's get some air doctrine since we're here. I want to use more cast. And naval doctrine might just give us the edge. I think, let's see. Our navy has no carriers, so we're going to focus on battleships this time. Uh, fleet and being, yes, please. Just when we send our fleet again and when we actually might have fuel... We'll do okay. It's all about planning. Planning and strategy and killing off our enemies. Because after this, we're going to attack or reinforce the line. The next group will have to reinforce the line here in New England. It's just too weak. It's just too weak. And I don't want to lose the Navy. It's not great or anything, but I don't want to lose it. So, how dare you start attacking us here? How absolutely flippin' dare you. 
Hold, convert you four to Revolutionary Guard Brigade. All right, Red Terror, Dutch Volunteers. Dutch Volunteers arrive. Okay, we'll take them. You guys head on up to, was it this group? Yes, it was. Dutch Volunteers have arrived to help the Syndicalist cause. They are not very well trained, however, and their divisions are rather small, so we may need to invest in them to order to make them a significant fighting force, or just throw them at the enemy, which will probably result in high casualties. We just need to get all the help we can get. Nice. Awesome, awesome. The American Vigilingers. Not very strong. They said we can edit this, but we can't edit this. Oh my goodness, you're breaking my heart, man. You're breaking my heart. Doesn't matter. Red Terror. War is heck. Civil war even more so. The psychological strain caused by having to repeatedly kill, and even if the enemy are capitalists, has caused some of our soldiers and commanders to become sadistic beyond what some consider to be acceptable. Although not commonplace, reports of systematic mass executions and torture being reported from both the front lines and core territories to suppress populations suspected of aiding the capitalist factions. Haywood has made an executive decision to suppress these reports from the free media. If the revolution were to fall because of a few bad apples, said Haywood, then humanity would collectively suffer for centuries longer. Oh boy. Tis the final conflict, after all. So we're here, we can push on the front. Actually, do they have anything against us? They've been pushing on us for quite a while. Mm -mm. Not really. Oh, uh, anyone else, maybe? Black Nationalist Resistance, Jim Daddy Crow? What happened to Murray? Simmons here, the American Emperor? Oh, he's a certain leader. Oh, even I think I went down this route before. He believes in a certain um, clan. Like, clash of clans, but not quite like that. Uh, let's see. Are we still on... Oh, we're on War Economy. That's cool. I like that. And actually, I don't like Export Focus. I want to go down Limit Exports, but I want to read out. Read out. We can all the resistance here, so... Overall, not too bad. We just need more divisions. Which seems like a common thing for any war we're ever in, so... Wow. That looks not very good. Don't have a lot of spare soldiers right now, though. See what happens. Alright, alright, not bad, not bad. You get those boys back in there. If you oh, where did the boys go? Hello. Don't lose it. You lost it, you dinguses. What the heck? I said don't lose it. You lost it. Superior firepower, that'll help us out. Let's grab some delay doctrine, thank you. Anything else? Oh, holy smoky daddies. No 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 no. Oh, I'm not too worried about this one. You can head in there if you want, you can head over here too. Actually you can just come over here then. You both go that way direction. Anywhere else? Any more red? Green is good. Red, not so good. Send both of you there. Thank you. American pro artillery production lines. Let's go with minor arms factories. We could use more factories, honestly. But more artillery attack would be really nice. And superior firepower? Let's go with that one. Artillery is a deadly weapon that we plan to use to our advantage, but without officers, it would mean nothing. Let us work to train artillery officers who can guide all of our firepower towards our enemy. We will hit our enemy in the most vulnerable positions, and despite what our rivals may expect, we will not miss. No, sir. Oh, that is not good right here. But, oh, especially, that's such a strategic tile to keep, because it's on a river. Belgrad, Pac, who cares about Belgrad, Belgrade for now? In America, we got bigger things to worry about. All right, you want to attack me? All right, so be it. You won't be able to win this battle with them attacking us like that. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, Y'all come down here. You should do okay. These militia divisions suck. Ah, actually, we're okay. Even then, still, I don't like militia divisions, as I've said repeatedly before on this channel. Guys, you might want to head on over there. Smell the butt that was going on with you. Anything interesting? Any more upgrades? I'm interested in upgrades, upgrades, upgrades. Oh, look at that. Push on the front. Strike the cells. No cells here. No blood cells. Nope. Alright, you guys got a little more experience, or uh, gumption. We'll say we'll call it gumption right now. We've lost, what, 100,000 roughly? We cut off almost 200,000 in feds. That ain't too bad. That makes me kind of happy. Alright, anyways. Uh, they're still attacking. They want Philly? They can't have it. Not bad. I'm still a little worried about this tile here, so you might want to move over there just a wee bit. Anything else? Eh, that's not looking great, but that'll be fine. I think we're pretty much ready to go to war against the, them Canucks. Yeah, this is not bad. You lose a little, you give a little. It's all right so far. Uh, let's. All right, now we can go definitely into here and beat these guys up. Get out of my Pennsylvania. That's not was. I never realized that New Jersey was bordering Pennsylvania. That's how much I remember about it. We got a lot of Eric's already. My goodness. Oh, well, that's not good. Now I'm a little more worried about this. 
Now, please don't lose. <laughs> oh, that militia division is going to get destroyed. Oh, baby. Nice. Help them out. Ooh, that's not good either. I'm um, either the break over, and we still have. Oh, we don't have any extra room there. That ain't good. Keep holding on. Keep holding on. Not too bad so far. Not too bad. Oh, they weren't even at war with each other? Oh, man. Alright. That. What the heck? What the heck? I, I thought someone wasn't at war with each other yet, so. I'm gonna keep weakening resistance. Come on, son. Get them over there. Retreat, good. Good. God dang, they attacking like a bunch of savages. I'm gonna convert you immediately to this one too. We have enough artillery, which is actually really, really awesome. We need so many more guns though. Uh, you can lower by one. I want more of that. Uh, wow, it's gonna take a while to do, ain't it? Support from syndicalists. Rebels, of course, I've already read this one. So let's take a look. We have a, we have 11 political power right now. We got 50. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, what do we want? Do we want to do any of these fronts? Um, ooh, that's not bad. I like that. Bethlehem Steel is really, really good. Even though I'm kind of interested in doing this, I want to get more soft attack. Or artillery breakthrough, but it doesn't help you on defense, so. Uh, defense. I'm probably just going to go for break uh, for as much soft attack as possible for this campaign. I love them big softies. Hmm. Don't really want to retreat, but you might be able to make it down there in time. Good, good, good. Yeah, this is a lot of manpower. Like, for realsies, this is a lot, a lot of manpower for this. Uh, I don't want to spend any political power right now. Yeah, no wonder I struggled so much with the American Union state. Because this is not really that bad at all. Like, this is... <laughs> this is not too bad. But you know, I'm sure we'll come across some, some more some more difficulty soon enough, but... It ain't too bad so far. No, ooh, baby, you don't want to go down there. Sweet baby rays. No, no, no. Just give us time. Oh, when people get upgrades, we love it. Um, we're going to go actually for attack. Because we're going to need it later on. Ah, eh, we'll do one of both. Why not? One of both. And anything else? No? All right, then. Artillery field officers. After this one, then we'll go some... Um, that's not bad, not bad. One more factories. Modern arms factories. We need to focus on the obvious, which is the basics of military output. Thus, we will be investing in building such factories out of old ones. Not a bad idea. Now, son, you can't have Indiana. Indiana's a special state because, well, it's Indiana. And no other reason why. I'm tempted to leave here and just debate them into attacking me even harder. Novorossia? Oh, they're running out of manpower already. Not bad. That ain't too shabby, I say. Alright, you guys not looking bad. You just have to combine. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. You guys might be able to do something here, but... Just be careful. Extremely careful. Do you have any upgrades, actually? Uh, Lancer is so good. Actually, Lone Wolf is not bad, either. Silent Hunter, reveal a chance. There you go. That'll definitely help you out. Anywhere else? Uh, we still got some red up here, which isn't good, but, you know, it is what it is. Flying formation is very nice. Grab some more. Still 37, so we're okay with that. Going to convert you slowly over to this, as well. We need way more guns, though. Oh, baby. Oh, man, oh, man. Please don't lose too many subs. You can lose subs, just not too many of them. Modern Arms Factories, thank you very much. Not bad. Alright, so the Fed's doing this. I'm going to maybe start moving out. Maybe resource efficiency gain. We're lacking quite a few things. We got tons of steel and enough oil, but not nearly enough, of course. Uh, grab some more research speed, I suppose. That's fine. Yeah, I don't really want to spend my PP. I mean, we might lose this part. We lost Indianapolis, which sucks, but whatever. I mean, technically, we, we didn't really lose it, but it is what it is. Oh, baby, they, they, they don't like my subs. What's wrong with y'all? You don't like subs? What the heck? Right, so this is... Oh, order restored in Southern Jersey. Southern New Jersey. Over the past few weeks, syndicate government as far as have been busy in Southern New Jersey, arresting those we feel would prove a hindrance to our control and helping our local supporters spreading the good word amongst the people. We want to reassure them that as American citizens, they have no reason to fear our presence. Our efforts have slowly begun to bear fruit, even in the midst of all this chaos. Excellent news. Nice. Directive 656, Winter Resource Allocation Program. The revolution must succeed, but the revolution is also for the people. When supporting the revolution and supporting the people are the same, the choice is trivial, but one, one, must, month, one must be prioritized over the other. Hard choices must be made. The Central Committee has been made aware that the supply situation is critical, and now that the people or the army must be undersupplied through the winter. Fight for the revolution. 
Okay, so at this point, I'm going to convert you guys all to this. Because you're going to need strength. You're going to need a lot of strength for this. Nice. Um, Really not too bad. Hawaii's joined a certain faction. Well, they made their choice. We make oh, thank you very much. Uh, it's all almost too big. So you guys go over here too. So you guys are doing well. You guys over here, you're going to need some more forces too. I, I'm just scared to know whenever Canada's going to attack us. So I'm going to, we can attempt this. We can attempt to leave. We might be able to come back and do this. Uh, I clicked on something here. I don't even know where to attack. Like, realistically, I might be want to attack here, but that's a river, so maybe up here? I might want to push him out here, actually. We might actually be able to do that, so maybe we'll come over here, then. But I'm going to leave the other line here, as well, so... I want to bait him to attacking us. More, 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 more. Uh, you... I'm going to convert you guys to this immediately. Oh, boy, we lost more subs, didn't we? Well, that sucks. He's learning stuff, which is nice, but still. Alright, so if that's the case, just go home. Don't worry about it. Just go home. Take this off. Go home. Oh, see? They, we did bait him in. We bait him in. him. Bait him in. 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 Uh, don't worry about attacking, guys. I need you guys to go here, actually, if anything. I need you guys to go here, too. You want to attack? And then we'll attack you right back. There you go. I don't lose that. You guys should be able to hold here, hopefully. Hopefully. Good. Anything else? Nope. Yep. Pretty nice. Pretty darn nice. Oh, look at that. That looks... Oh, we actually lost it. Nope. We could change this stuff, but now nah, we're good. We're good. How are we on free exports when... That doesn't make too much sense to me. Free export, but, uh... I guess actually we do have ports still, but, man, I don't know. I'm gonna push into the car a little bit more. Teach him who's boss. 2.2 .2 million manpower. My goodness, that is just so much. So many dudes. So many. Just so many dudes. Should be fine over there. Uh, how are we doing with this? Ah, you guys have arrived. Very good. Hold, go in there. Of course, then again, they have no fuel, which really sucks, but whatever. Alright, so Long, what's going on with Long? We've killed off almost 300,000 of them. You know what? Long wants to attack? Long is front, so be it. That should give us just enough to help defend against them. You're not going to lose here, son. You're not allowed to lose. We push them back. Very good. Daily adoption is very nice. And we're going to go with mobile defense. Alright, so with this group, we're going to go... we we'll stay here. I want to make an instrument like right here-ish. So, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. There you go. Get Eau Claire. I want to finish off Wisconsin. Help support the attack. Car's going to have to die. We lost that towel. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, you can still help actually attack right there, maybe. There you go, nice. You guys ready to go? Looks like you pretty much are. We're out of fuel, which is god-awful, but whatever. Good luck. We gonna need it. Um, y'all hold for now. Don't worry about that too much. Can we buy any more fuel from anybody yet without... Blowing up some of our own convoys. Yes, Alaska. They know who to support in the war effort, obviously. Oh, there goes the Tele-Federation. Support them out. Support them. Support them. They're still attacking us like crazy. All right. Well, I guess so. If we have to. If we have to. Support from Santa Claus. We have 132. Goes up to 207. We got 75 more political power-ish. Not bad. All right. Let's see. Um, I want more soft attack. I really want more, but I want to build more. I really want to build a lot more factories. Ooh. Soft attack for now? Or not? Chief of the Navy. I mean, that's okay. Chief of the Air Force, too. Or the Army. Entrenchment organization would be really quite nice. Artillery attack and defense? 
Ooh, that'd be really good. We need to make some tanks. Industrial concerns. I think for now, I just want to kill as many of them I want. So, where is it? Uh, it's 10% and you get breakthrough and heart attack. 5% and that's not worth it. 5%, 10% more from artillery. But everything uses guns. So, I want to get what? 10% though, auto order is cooperative because we own Illinois. Uh, 10% is not bad. It helps us with breakthrough too, so we'll take it. That's fine. Help them out. You guys push straight on into here. And we're going to end this episode at least getting at least one encirclement. There you go. Wisconsin's going to be ours. A nice syndical state, isn't it? Beautiful. Help them out. Help them out. We all need a little bit of help from time to time. Go straight into Eau Claire. Don't even worry about it. Never been to Eau Claire. We should go someday. One, two, three, four, six, nine. Six plus three is usually nine, right? Yeah, usually, I think. Oh boy. Modern arms factories, very good. Can reactionary stuff. Military production quotas. We can't afford to be at a disadvantage in equipment production. We will set quotas for production in our factories to make sure that doesn't happen. Certain numbers of equipment will need to be produced on a daily and weekly basis to keep our military alive. Our workers will be hard at work and slacking will not be tolerated. Now is not the time to let up. And one bullet, shell, or bomb can make the difference between victory and defeat. Very, very nice. You guys are taking quite the beating, man. Ah, uh, but it is what it is. The Minutemen crush. The Minutemen are finished. With the AFP's militia collapsing and their men either treating, retreating or facing reprisal from our men, they are finished and our people can rest easy. This force of hooligans will no longer terrorize them. Supplies can move with these and soldiers have one less worry in their lives. Thank God. Very, very nice. We out the clan. Ah, Western Wisconsin. We love Wisconsin. I've been there once and it was very depressing. But maybe that's just me. And we have overran them, my friends. But I think we'll end that here after we read maybe one more focus. How about that? Uh, Counter-revolutionary armaments. A government department shall be created out of the People's War Department to oversee research and counter arms, and they shall be given control of some old factories and workers. So they can put out the firepower we need to destroy the tanks and planes of the capitalists. And if I were to create an intelligence agency, Foreign Affairs Office... Oh, look at this. I like this one quite a bit. Ooh, this symbol's not bad either. I kind of like this one. I like this one, though, but... Hmm... Well, that one's kind of nice, too. But let me know in the comments below what should our intelligence agency name be for this campaign. But if you enjoyed the video, do consider leaving a like. It does help me out. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we'll lose a few more guys, but we'll really be destroying a lot of our enemies. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.